Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we continue working on this 2021 Scania S540. On the previous video, you've seen me squaring this cab up. It's pretty much in primer. I'm going to rub it all down tomorrow and we're going to get this painted Monday. It's Wednesday actually here. And I'm going to start, the bits are coming for this chassis ends. Chassis ends and all the bits coming tomorrow, I believe. So I'm going to strip it all. Basically, I need to take all the plastics off, everything, because I have to change all them casts and brackets, which on this side, I have to take the steering box off, just lay it to the side, but I need to drop the fluid under the pipes and all that kind of stuff. So, similar situation on this side. I've got a case about to undo first before I drop any plastics and all that kind of stuff. So, let's crack on with it.
guys, it's actually next day here now. Scania has been, it's nearly three o'clock now. I've been doing prepping all this, so that's pretty much prepped. I'm gonna paint this panel, this locker door, and uh, I've painted that inside there. So we can paint this side panel and that cap with the door shut. The same the other side, pretty much. We're gonna paint this side panel and the roof side panel and the roof and the scan has been i'm go i've got a lot of parts now for this all them casts i will have to swap this cast first then i can start stripping the other side you have to drain the power steering fluid because them pipes are steel pipes so they're not flexi if they were flexi you could move it out without dropping the fluid but you definitely definitely need to drop the fluid because of through this side uh, there's oil fill and neck for this side Yeah, only oil fill and neck For uh, For that side, so that's all right, but you definitely need to need to strip it and take the pipes off So as you can see pretty much everything what I need is here Boxes here and a couple of boxes there headlight and the grills and all that kind of stuff So let's get this bracket on Then start doing the other side guys this side is pretty much complete i put a new pipe on it's quarter to five anyway i need to clear clear my toes and i think we're gonna do the same tomorrow 
just the other side. I've got a new pipe on there. I've got a new pipe for that side, which I rank Scania because they've sent two red ones. And the Scania says they've changed it all now, so there's a two red ones now. On the ends, which the old one, old one is here being pinched. That just shows you how far this rat went back when he had an accident and that cap went went way well back. So catch you guys in the morning. back together on that side I'm gonna get this uh, headlamp and the bumper corners later I think I'm gonna do get the rads on next I did put a new pipe on the end there and I did bolt them new two of them are new uh, basically you've got no gap on the back there at all which is only bolted on the bottom two bolts and this is the old bracket bolted on the two bottom bolts and you can see the gap there it's about a mil or two and soon I was I could leave it but then if you bolt it down it will push the cap back again which is not ideally 
normally it wants to be like you come out of the factory so that's the thing is that's the thing and another thing guys i'm taking orders for hoodies i do make myself a hoodie so if someone is interested as you can see now on the screen if someone is interested in that grey nice hoodie with my logo on the back a logo and in the front uh, i'm wearing this medium size so please let me know uh, in the comment section or there's a email in a in in description of the video there's my email there please contact me if you want one ordered because i don't have any in stock i'll have to get them made i'm not sure how we're gonna go how successful that's gonna be but no doubt there's gonna be someone who wants who wants a bit of bit of that kind of stuff so please let me know and as soon as i get a few orders i can get them made and ship to you right so but right now i think we're gonna get this build up and especially especially with this uh, being bent especially with the one side if the cab had a hit in the corner pretty much 100 percent if them two alley brackets sitting like this basically that chassis is definitely bent on the end i had that once or twice in the previous video i think you've seen me doing in the video is uh, straining this chassis because as soon as i had a hit there there's a big lever on that cast bracket to bend that chassis end so i'm gonna get this uh, get them bolted then i'm gonna laser it because there's a bit of a play in the bolts i, I want to make sure it's perfect then i'm gonna try the cap bar on as well because the cap bar have to fit on on them pins there then i'm gonna get the rads on so let's do it The rods are in, all brand new because they're all intercolor, knackered, dented, pretty much bent from the top. You can tell how wavy that is down the bottom, and it's all bent. The same rod, rod is bent and all. It didn't look that bad, but when I took it off, it's it's bent. Hard to see it on the camera, but yeah, it's got that kind of yeah. You can see, you know, bent. Then, fans around, that's definitely bent. Everything is is new. All them two brackets are new. We even put the new cap run. Old ones there, because when when that cap's been hit and it moved back, it snapped this. That's that's bolted to the cap run and that's bolted to the cap. And that snapped this. So the last thing I wanted to find out if is that any good or not when when the cab is on the floor when you're jacking up because that can happen easy 
Uh, pretty much sorted there. I'm gonna leave the rest of the front. Gonna leave the rest of the front till till the cab is on because I'm gonna need to put some fluid in the pump, no doubt, and I need to power steering fluid in there because I've drained it. Because you have to move it out the way and that pipe, you have to move that pipe out the, out the way to get to the boat. So under the boat, pretty much all good. And I'm just changing this, two of those, uh, them stays. I have to change it. It's all right this side, you can get to the boat, but the other side, you pretty much have to take the uh, uh, battery box off. Batteries and the battery box, because you can't get to them. You can't get to them boat, especially with them wires in there and all that. You have to make yourself a room. So I'm gonna probably put this, uh, put them stays on then uh, we're gonna get the cap painted Monday is Friday actually here then we'll probably uh, see you next time when when we put in the cab on so let's do it
right guys it's all in one piece now pretty much done i would say 99 percent done because we're still waiting for this front panel which is sitting there knackered and we've got a date they give us a date 2024 sometime so we don't have a choice no doubt it's gonna be a few weeks hope not but you never know or months let's hope not we've got we need to get this out the workshop now because we've got another one exactly the same damage bit bit worse because that chassis on this side is definitely out because that bracket is snapped off like this and this is straight like that the aluminium bracket so no doubt that's way way out the cab is not too bad but it's still got that kind of the same damage what this one had and this is pretty much done a part of them bits i couldn't put the water in and the gas out but like i said we need to get this out and that's pretty much going to be wrapped for this truck i might give you update when i do the other one so we've got this uh, yeah, 72 rate which is a uh, year old and we just has received the DAF XG new one about a few months old I would say XG which had the same damage with this actually the cap is has been hit there the cap is ripped off and you sit it on the back so that's going to be wrapped for today's video guys thank you for watching if you want to see the other video please stick around you know what to do so thank you guys for watching See you on the next one.